What's up guys? Back again with another uh, UFC pick video on the uh, UFC Fight Night card, Swanson versus Lobov. And today we're going to be talking about the main card, which is on Fox Sports 1. So we got a pretty stacked main card, six fights. So, you know, fights look pretty good here on paper, so, you know, should be a good night of fights. But let's go ahead and get started here, guys, on uh, the first fight on the main card. So first fight we got is uh, Ellen Berger versus Mike Perry. This is a really good fight, you know, to start off the main card. Uh, two good strikers, both of them good, good knockout power. Um, it's almost kind of like an even fight, but Jake is getting a little bit older, whereas Perry's kind of like, kind of like, you know, still on the come up right now. Uh, Ellenberger is still ranked higher than him, of course. He's fought way better competition. Let's go ahead and just check out their pages, though, so you guys get some info on them. If you're not familiar with both of these guys. Okay, so... Internet's lagging right now, but either way... Okay, here we go. So here's Jake's page. And they classify him, or his summary here is uh, classified as uh, heavy hands, granite chin, heart, very experienced, and well-rounded. 32 years old, so he's not... Eh... Yeah, Mike Perry's pretty young, only 25 years old, so yeah, he's almost, eh, almost 10 years older, but not quite. Uh, both these guys are very similar with the height and the reach, 5'9", 5'10", both 71 inch reach, so the reach is not going to be a factor here in the fight. Um, Jake's last fight was against Jorge Masvidal, who's obviously a guy on the come up. Uh, Masvidal really showcased his skills in that fight. His boxing and whatnot. Uh, Jake, you know, he got kind of fucked up early in the fight, and then he was kind of recovering, and then he got his toe stuck in the fence, and that was pretty much it. Uh, he was getting banged up in the uh, in the first round, though. I mean, as you can see, Masvidal hit him 44 hit him 44 times with with significant strikes. So, you know, he took a lot of damage just in one round. You know, that's a lot of output right there from Jorge Masvidal. So. Um, yeah, pretty much Jake was bound to get beat in that fight anyway, but I mean, we never really know because, uh, you know, they stopped the fight because, you know, he got stuck against the cage. Uh, before that, though, he looked very impressive against Matt Brown, where a lot of people thought, you know, he looked like, you know, like the regular Jake. Um, yeah, but he, he hasn't looked too good uh, besides the Matt Brown win. Uh, against Masvidal, I mean, he kind of started off okay. Uh, he still has some sharp punches uh, and still has that wrestling though um, a lot of people think his chin's a little bit then diminished I would say maybe maybe it is a little bit but I think he could you know he could take a couple more shots just a couple though uh, for Mike Perry though his last fight and his only loss was to uh, Alan Joban pretty much got outstruck in that fight he also got taken down twice and he also got knocked down maybe like one time or twice I, I forgot uh, but yeah that pretty much ruined his undefeated record this guy has all his wins by knockout guys this guy's a, this guy's a knockout artist uh, a lot of people were really hyping him up um, he does have really good power but his his striking isn't high level yet you know he just really has pretty much just power in his hands um, you know he still needs to sharpen up his striking I, I think Jake here is the sharper striker uh, has has power also just like Mike Perry maybe maybe not as much power but you know he got a lot of power also and since he's sharper it, it kind of you know counteracts the the overall knockout power for Mike Perry so I believe Jake here is the better striker way better wrestler it's just all about can he take some of these heavy-handed shots from Mike Perry because like I said this guy's a knockout artist all his wins by knockout uh, Look at that, six in the first round. So yeah, this guy's this guy's a, a scary guy to fight because he has a lot of power. Uh, from what Mike Perry said about Ellenberger, he said that he believes you know that he's gonna outstrike him and and all this and that. But you know what, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Jake here. Uh, I counted him out in that Matt Brown fight and uh, in the Matt Brown fight, and I regretted it. Of course, I, I had to count him out for sure on that Masvidal fight. I just thought Masvidal was gonna wait. Masvidal is going to be way too good and he's going to dump on him with, with his way better boxing and 
Masvidal is extremely durable also. Uh, Mike Perry here isn't like, you know, super granite chin or anything either like Ellenberger. Uh, I mean like, uh, like Masvidal. You know, Mike Perry got hurt against Joe Ban. And I think if Ellenberger could do a, a stick and move type of game plan, uh, you know, using his footwork, jabbing, landing some good punches, also throw those kicks in there. You know he might he might be able to outpoint Mike Perry and also oh yeah of course go for those takedowns get him against the Clint and uh, get him against the cage clinch up with him and all that stuff I think Ellenberger could pull off the win here um, he could get caught though guys uh, overall guys let me just give you guys my pick though sorry about, sorry if I took too long right there with my uh, analyzing or whatever but yeah I think this is a really good fight I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with Jake here guys I think Jake has enough left in the tank to get another win here especially against Mike Perry who seems to be very one-dimensional so I'm gonna take Ellen Berger to win uh, I can also see him getting the finish here so I'm gonna go ahead and say Ellen Berger gets a uh, a third round knockout all right next fight Joe Lozon versus Stevie Ray I'm gonna do a quick pick I'm gonna go and pick uh, Stevie Ray on this one guys I think he's just just gonna be more like, more younger faster stronger uh, He's the better striker, uh, has good wrestling himself, good take down the fence. Uh, I don't think Loson's going to have the wrestling or the striking to be able to really, you know, mess with Stevie Ray here. Uh, yeah, I expect Stevie Ray to just look solid all around and uh, win this fight by decision. So, Ray, by decision. Next fight, we got John Dotson against Eddie Wineland. Uh... Two, two strikers, uh, Dotson's very explosive, very fast, Wineland, very sharp boxing, good movement, um, good, you know, in and out type of style, uh, yeah, like, another good fight here, should mostly stay on the feet, both these guys aren't really known for takedowns, and both of them have really good takedown defense, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick the underdog on this one, guys, I think Eddie Wineland here could get, could get it done, now I'm kind of picking him based on DraftKings, because you know he's very cheap on DraftKings and you know I also think he does have a shot here at winning uh, he has sharp boxing could counter Dotson maybe hurt him on the feet um, Dotson's gonna be quick but you know I don't think Dotson's like a, a super sharp striker or anything like that I, I believe Eddie's the better boxer here um, so yeah I you know I like I like Wineland here in the fight uh, obviously he's a big underdog here you guys could see right here yeah, look at that. Plus 315. I think Dalton was negative 400 earlier. So, you know, some money's coming in on Wineland there. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pick Wineland uh, to get the win. More than likely, he's going to win by decision. So, Wineland by decision. Next fight, we got OSP versus Marcos uh, De Lima, a.k.a. Pizal. Um, yeah, man, I, I don't really like OSP guys, man. This guy... He's very sloppy with his stand-up, and I, I, of course, picked against him in his last fight against uh, a guy that was making, I think he's making a short-notice fight. He's making his de his debut, uh, Volkan Ozdemir. Oz yeah, whatever, however you say his name. Anyways, Volkan, who's a kickboxer, you know, I picked him. Uh, he was a, I think he was a big underdog. Yeah, a lot of people were counting him out. Obviously, everybody was... You know, like oh, you know, OSP top rank like heavyweight and whatnot. But you know, OSP's, you know, I don't know. His skills are weird. You know, this guy, whenever he's fighting, I'm trying to find a way to pick against him because he's really not that good, guys. Uh, I mean, he's an athletic guy and does pack a punch, but you know, his uh, his striking isn't like super good. His his takedowns aren't super good either. So he he's pretty average at best. Uh, and Volkan was able to outstrike him and make it a close fight. And he was able to pull off that split decision win. And, of course, against Manuel, who got starched. Um, Pezal here, though. Uh, this guy also, I picked against him in his last fight because I thought he would gas. But, yeah, you know, he caught that guy early. That guy slipped and he, he finished him off really fast. Um, yeah, this guy right here. Usually this guy gasses and gets finished also in the first round just like he finishes people in the first round with knockouts um, I mean as you guys could see right here look at that his last loss was to uh, some Russian guy I think he's a wrestler or whatever 
he got tapped out early in that first round and his other loss was to, to Krylov he got finished also in the first round so it seems like this guy is getting finished in the UFC whenever he loses and it's always in the first round if you guys are you guys looking at this look at this shit look at this pattern all first round so someone here I mean there's a high chance this fight is gonna end in the first round and you know OSP starts off like slow and I don't know man I don't really like his style so you know what I'm gonna have to go go ahead and pick pick against them again guys uh the Lima here I mean I, I don't really I don't really want to pick the Lima because this guy has bad gas tank but OSP is also not super well conditioned he gassed in his last fight also you know everybody gets tired and whatnot but you know him and Volkan were both pretty fucking tired um I think he's he's gonna have the better cardio, better athlete and whatnot. But you know what? I think Delima, if he cracks him early, he'll be able to put him out, guys. I mean, Manuel was able to kill him, and Delima, you know, this guy's a heavy-handed guy. If he catches him early, he's gonna get the knockout. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the underdog Delima here. I'm gonna play him on DraftKings. Um, but I mean, even OSP here, even though I don't really like him too much, I think he could also pull out the win here if. The Lima gasses in the first and can't finish OSP in the first. In the second round, OSP is going to be more fresher and maybe OSP will be able to catch him. So, you know, there's that to think about. But yeah, um, overall, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Lima to win here, guys. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say he gets a, uh, you know, he's always finishing fights in the first round. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, fuck it. The Lima, first round KO. All right, now for the co main event, guys. We got Al Raging. Ayaquinta versus Diego Sanchez. Uh, uh, Ayaquinta's finally fighting after a, a hell of a fucking hell of a long layoff. I don't even know why he's still ranked, actually, guys. Uh, I thought maybe they should have took away his ranking for being off for that long. He was gone for like a while. Look at that. Yeah, it's been two years, pretty much, a little bit over two years. So yeah, this guy's been gone for a while. Um, he has a nice little win streak, though. And as you can see, he's he's had finishes. He finished Rodrigo Dam, Pearson. Also finished Lozon, who's very durable. And then he had a split decision win against Masvidal. But a lot of people, a lot of people thought Masvidal won that fight. Even I did. I picked Masvidal on that fight also. So I was like, what the fuck? Um. Anyways, yeah, this guy has good stand up, good striking. Also has good wrestling uh, background. Sanchez here. Everybody already knows about Diego Sanchez. He won his last fight against Marcin Held, who's not really the striker or anything like that. He's more of a, a submission guy. Um, eh, he's been looking, you know, he's been looking okay. Looked looked a lot better though in his last fight, I would say. But all that Quinta here, guys, he's gonna be too good, man. Even though with that long layoff, I'm still gonna have to pick all that Quinta. I mean, you guys can check the odds here. He's still pretty much four to one favorite. Yeah, I expect all that Quinta to win. He's gonna be the better striker. Good takedown defense, also. So I, I can't see Sanchez getting those takedowns on him. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and stick with all that Quinta here on this one. And I think maybe he could pull out a late finish here. So, uh,. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and take Ale Quinta, a third round knockout. All right, guys. Now for the main event, we got Cub Swanson versus Artem Lobov. I mean, I'm gonna make this kind of a quick pick, guys. I'm gonna pick Cub Swanson here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple why I'm picking him, man. Not only is he pretty much what is he like seven to one? Yeah, he's pretty much seven to one favorite. You know, he he is the better striker overall, just the better. MMA fighter man better submissions the better wrestling um, Just as much power probably more power than Lobov. I mean everything's really against Lobov here What Lobov does have is extreme durability this guy could take a lot of shots. It's hard I don't even think he's he hasn't I don't think he's been KO'd in like a while so man this guy's very durable and You never know maybe he catches Swanson with a clean shot and maybe puts him out, but I mean Swanson should be able to outclass him pretty much the whole fight. Um, Swanson, you know, is obviously coming off that big win against uh, Duho Choi, which was a big fight of the night. Uh, that was a really fun fight. He took a lot of damage in that fight, um, but, you know, he's still pretty durable. Uh, just overall, just an excellent striker with very, very good movement. And Lobov, you know, 
I don't even know how the fuck he beat Ishihara, man. man I really like uh, Teruto Ishihara, guys. You guys already know who that guy is, huh? If you guys don't know who that guy is, it's that Asian guy that 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 said uh, in his post-fight video, one, one of those, uh, in one of his fights, he was like, oh, like, I love my bitches or something like that. But anyways, I, he's a funny guy, but, um, yeah, you know, he, I don't know how he's gonna, how he, I don't know how he was able to beat him. Ishihara is a, a good striker, he, uh, but Ishihara really didn't really look the same in the uh, in the fight there, guys. Fuck, my internet's fucking up here, guys. Uh, anyways, I'm not gonna be able to load it up for you, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, just stick with my, my, my with my pick here, guys. Uh, yeah, Swanson should be able to get the win. He might be able even be able to get a late finish. So I'm going to go ahead and just say Swanson gets a uh, a fourth round knockout. You know, I think he's going to, you know, just soften him up those first three rounds. And the fourth round, Lobov's going to be tired. Swanson will probably be able to get the finish. If not, Swanson by decision. But overall, I'm going to go ahead and say Swanson a uh, fourth round knockout. Okay, guys. So to recap here, I'm picking Ellenberger uh, to win the fight by... Uh, yeah, third round, third round knockout. Stevie Ray by decision. I got Wineland by decision. I got the Lima first round KO. All like Quinta third round knockout, and finally Swanson a uh, fourth round knockout. So that's gonna be it, guys, for the picks on the uh, fight night card. Swanson versus Lobov. Let me know. Let me know what you guys uh, got on your picks. Let me know. What, let me know what you guys think about my picks and. Uh, yeah, subscribe for more video, guys. And, yeah, enjoy the fights. Uh, I'll try to do a post-fight video after the fights. But, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And also, check out my link below to uh, follow my page on Facebook or whatever. Like my page on Facebook. Um, also, if you guys don't play DraftKings and want to get started on DraftKings, I got the link below in the description. And if you guys are good with your MMA picks, you know, you guys can make some money on that and whatnot um, and other sports. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That's going to be it. Catch you guys on the next video.